This is The Swimming Show. Winter is here, but that does not stop us from bringing you the best from the world of aquatics. I want to share with you the best of what our swimmers and water polo players are up to. We are at the St. Peter's School, the Wahoo Aquatics Facility in the north of Johannesburg. You know, this is such a great facility for both swimming and water polo. Your tweets and Facebook posts. I can see we are gaining momentum on our social media. And that is all thanks to your involvement. We'll take a little link Sibiri Mulefem to tell us what to look forward to in today's program. Sibiri Dumela. Dumela Matapelo. Lena no larana the swimming show. Kaje no. Reo sora se di turi sanata di golo zau se sa hoto polo kwa ni. We are back in Stellenbosch with girls under 18 water polo national. And lastly, more pool action hoto a derven. Dilonzo du silo ho the swimming show. We have exciting water polo coming up, but first let's go to Polokwani in Limpopo. So, let's go north. This is the Polokwane Swimming Pool in Limpopo. The SA Schools Interprovincial Championships are taking place in the province for the very first time. This is a huge event for aquatic sport in the region. My name is Peter Kaplan. I'm the president of Issei Schools Aquatics. This competition is an interprovincial competition uh, for provincial schools. So what they do is they have trials in the provinces to select their teams. And they do this with the federations and the support of the Department of Sport and Education. They have trials from district level upwards and then select provincial teams and the support financially comes from the Department of Education and Sport and national competition is supported by Sport and Rec South Africa and DBE. Uh, the team has come together and really rallied. Uh, there are certain people in the municipalities, for example Tabu, uh, He's, he's just an absolute star. He's pulled some big strings for us and we've managed to get a lot of things done in a very short time. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we, we only had roughly about uh, four weeks to prepare this uh, swimming pool and the facility. There were quite a few challenges around it, but we've rose to the, rose to the challenges and we've managed to come out on, on top with a lot of support from Swimming South Africa, a lot of guidance from their top leadership. Um, we've never put on a, a, a gala of this magnitude uh, such a prestigious gala, so obviously this is this is quite a big step up for us. They've done very well. I mean, we have, I've visited all the teams, all the provinces since I came here. They're all happy, hospitality, the pool, uh, it's of international standards, and they, they're happy with the, every other logistics. And thank you, I must thank the local organizing team for the work that they've done selflessly uh, in committing their time, energy, and also resources in making sure that we pull up we uh, uh, such a great event and also the minister who was here when we were opening is also is happy with the, the how we are able to pull this together especially as a rural province the introductions are done the scene is set and it's on with the action we start with the goal 16 to 17 years 50 meter freestyle Mulangwa Bosanu, Roboni Leslie Blechno, Tohotwa Eastern Cape. The 50 meter races will nearly always be close. 
Natasha Cornelius in lane 6 looks next best. Who is it going to be? 27.55, it's Leslie Blichnode. She gets in first. Natasha Cornelius, also be a baby, just ahead of Amy O'Rourke, her teammate Hotwa Gauteng. I mean, it's always, it's always nice, no matter what the level is, it's always nice representing your province, your country, even your school. I mean, this is SA schools. So it's, it's always a proud moment to represent your school and the province. Just to stand there on the block and know that you represent the people on the side of the pool, it's a very great feeling. Jolla refeta la lebelon la rona la 200 meter backstroke event. Hoba shanya na ba le monse le shumela mtsume na huisa le monse le shumela mtsume thano. Giano de Santos from Pumalanga readies himself for the start. Ian Brizel strokes first from lane four. Ethan Speaker who's a hauting or seven a hand the mulling what's a lela. Dos Santos and Brijal turn after 50 meters. Joale refitala mahaula hang a hundred meters. Ethan Speaker has moved into the lead. Gianna Dos Santos tried to catch the leader. The final meters now, and no one will catch the swimmer from Gauteng. Long arms and long strokes, he touches. Two minutes, 15.20 seconds. More than two seconds quicker than second place the centers. 14-year-old Ian Brijal glides into third place. Oh, the vibe here is nice. Some good competition, I must say. Like you guys saw right there, right now. Um, it's much more relaxed than senior nationals. Not as much pressure, just came in to enjoy it. Great pool, fast pool. Got in three goals so far, fourth one now. And one bronze, so it's going well. The sun starts to dip as the 13 year old girls line up for the 50 meter butterfly event. This is Kristen Lottering from Limpopo, patiently waiting for the gun. It looks very even. Taylor Jane Speaker, Oshaba Latsfer Hantla Mulemabotlela. But Lottering will get this. 27.99 seconds. Emrin Pinar gets second, and 13 year old Michelle Wolstazen from the Free State gets third spot. Another Free State, Gilmore Luzberg, gets fourth. I really, I felt really honored to know that there were so many people cheering for me, and I really tried doing it for them from my province to give them good points and to really just support them. And I'm really proud and really honored to have such grateful people cheering for me and supporting me through all my events and especially my father, my coach, is always there for me and my sister, she was a timekeeper. It's really just everyone is so 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 nice and cheerful and I really appreciate every bit of it. I don't think the people actually realize how uh, small our province is and how good our swimmers are for the small province, especially when competing against Gauteng and uh, Kaiserin province, Western province. They are huge provinces. We, just, we are small but very efficient at this stage. I think we do very well for the numbers that we've got. We are very happy because we have invested in terms of the team preparation to make sure that they are able to be ready for the uh, national championships. The LOC of Limpopo went out of their way uh, with the uh, departments, the, the various departments, to actually host this thing and we are grateful for the, the, the national government to bring in a to Limpopo for us. So, and this is going to improve sport and, and develop our, uh, our swimming in our province as well.
It is at school level that your talent gets to be nurtured. Many of the girls here in the pool at Wahoo have been groomed and prepared for higher competition at school level. Rala amogela gape mo lananeng la rena the swimming show. Kelsey White ke mo kapteni wa sethlopha sa naga sa water polo. Me o tle go bua le rona go mpieno. Kelsey great to see you. Can you briefly tell us about the upcoming tournament in Europe? Um, we're going to the FINA World Championships in Hungary, Budapest, which is a country that loves water polo, so the uh, atmosphere and everything around is going to be fantastic. Uh, the water polo men's and ladies team will be going and competing there. In our pool for the ladies is USA, the big Olympic winners, Spain and New Zealand, who are also an amateur team who hopefully we can have a good go against. Do you think that we get enough exposure to international competitions? For the past few, I would say five years, we have been competing in a tournament called the EU Nations Cup, which is for more amateur teams, which we've placed, uh, uh, got a gold medal at both of those tournaments. So that's been good exposure for us. And um, the under 18s and under 20s have been going to FINA Junior World Championships, which has brought such big exposure for the sport here in South Africa and for the growth of the sport here. What do you think can be done to get more girls involved in this sport? Well, I think it's really important to get every child in South Africa water safe and going to learn to swim programs all throughout the country. Then also trying to implement water polo in primary schools and prep schools. We have a really, really popular um, community in high schools playing water polo and provincially, but not so much in the primary schools. So they need to start from about the age of 10 in water polo. And I think that'll help develop the sport immensely in this country. Well, the swimming show wishes you and the team the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. All roads lead to Stellenbosch for the 2017 Water Polo Nationals. The under-18 squad had an early start for their final games. Se tlopa se tuka malaka be sa province ya Gauteng se fitlo ma gaola ga mo teng he se tla tianang teng le Western Province. Four chuckers will decide who is the best in the country. The first three quarters were very even with Western Province winning a penalty in the last seconds of the third chucker. Peter Lamarck waits to get the final quarter started with Western Province leading Gauteng. Karin Tate Nehote Taru. Banana Ba Gauteng. Kibona Ba Kenzen di Kepisi Telefifika Mala. Ha Western Province Bona. Ilebona Ba Kenzen Tetoka Mala. Leila Fernandez receives the ball from right of play. But Jordan Harding is persistent and steals the ball close to the Gauteng goal. Pressure from Fernandez and the ball ends up inside with Kerry Stain. Gauteng swamp her and she's dispossessed. Tasman Wade finds Tegan Baker on the left. A good pass inside to Megan Hughes, but she is held up by Isola Logan. Megan eventually finds help from Bianca Prinsloo. Princely turns and shoots, but keeper Annie Bruins has her measure. The score remains 4-3 to Western Province. Bianca Princely looks for a way through. She wins the battle against Sydney Jacobs. She waits patiently and then finds Tegan Baker in the center. A quick shot and it gets through. What a goal! Now that was making use of the opportunity. The scores are equal at four goals apiece. Playmaker Bianca Prinsloo has possession on the right of the pool. She finds Megan Hughes. Not a bad shot, but well spotted by Bruins the keeper. Jordan Harding brings the ball up for Western Province. 
A push pass to Kyla Lembre. Into the hole for Jordan Harding. Can she pull it off? Good work from Tati Simota and Gauteng gain possession. Prince Lutebaker. A good hot shot, but well stopped by the keeper. Kate Hendricks has the last shot for Gauteng, but she cannot penetrate the Western Province defense. Surely that must be it. Who are the penaling Joali? A last push by Western Province. Na ever Jordan Harding akaitsa mekale mehlolo. Ah, che isinka jenu. The whistle goes and the score is 4 goals all. Peter Lamarck talks to the captains. This is nerve wracking. No time or place for mistakes. You have to control your nerves. Kane Hendricks converts the first penalty for Gauteng. Isola Logan now for Western Province. One bounce goal and the score is 5 all. No mistake for Amy Jobert for Gauteng. Daniela Fasoni against Hannah Hill. Fasoni wins the encounter with a good save. Gauteng go into the lead. And remarkably, bronze wards off the goal. The scores are equal once more. And the nerves get to Kyla Lambrecht. Or was it the great save from Pasoni? Gauteng lead once more. No mistake from Megan Hughes. Me Gauteng yata la pele hape karin tatsepe di. Leave a pulls one back for Western Province. This is make or break for Gauteng. Tegan Baker puts it beyond doubt and Gauteng are the under-18 girls national waterfaller champions for 2017. It has been exciting! They are a very skillful bunch, they, they work hard, um, they didn't have many trainings together, we had about 3 or 4 trainings together, but they deserved it. A lot of them played last year, uh, we only lost about 3 matrix or 4 matrix, so they've been playing together for a while and they won schools, water polo. And the festivities drown out the winning coach, but a close game and a hot fought match. Well done to both teams. We just have to take them. These girls most certainly are. We go to the Ronaldo swimming show. We are going to win. 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 We are taking a break. Don't go far. Come on, Papa. So, national pool action holds at Kings Park, Durban. See you guys, Papa Guy. We have featured highlights from the SA Nationals and what transpired in the 50-meter pool. Waiti khakiru mele khusete malazi alen malwa felam pele khaisa no yabudi chaba chaba isimula kwa Budapest Hungary. Ruri na kwa yata Now our swimmers needed to qualify in Durban to get to this event in Europe. Let's now go over to Kings Park in Durban. Hungary and the Fina Aquatic World Championships are now less than a month away. Our swimmers, most of the qualifiers are in Europe, busy with competitions. The tension is mounting for the biggest showdown on the aquatic calendar. At Kings Park Durban, at the recent nationals, there were tears 
and tears of joy as the swimmers did their best to qualify. I can't believe it's been so long since I lost my hair. Let's make it last. Thank you, Lance Baka. It's a queen. Race one. Some of the girls are not so good at running, but they are good at 50 meter butterfly. Aaron Gallagher posted the best heat time and is in lane four. One length only. Gabby Khrovla hosts a hosting. Oh, my lane was raro. How my lane was sano. Eli Emma Chilias hosts a Western K. A small V is forming in the front. The race is in the middle. Aaron Gallagher is in the lead now. Can she get close to Lisa Marie Ratti's record set in 2008? Ha ke kholo ka ba le motho ya ka gona ngo mo fihlella. She touches 27.35. Not a record, but a good win for the KZN swimmer. Emma Chilias follows in second and the Kenyan visitor Emily Mutedi gets a credible third place. On to the 100 meter backstroke for men. Unfortunately, Olympic semi-finalist Christopher Reed ha khona tla kwa no Africa borwa a tahlelo e kaalo. The race favorite looks to be the Northern Tigers Jack van Veen. An impressive start by Martin Benedel Molengwa Bohlano. Mosebetsi o motle ha ka lokatla sa metsi o yetswa nge ke van Veen ke Molengwa Bone. At the 50 mark ke van Veen ke yana o latelwa ke Benedel. Is his strong underwater work and strong kick that gets Jack van Veen into the lead? Martin Benedel mulingwa botlano o shabala e le yena fela ya gona ho tswa ka lebelo la hai o se a le boemo ba bobedi. A strong search from Benedel but Van Veen will hang on to win. Wow, this is close. Van Veen just takes it. Benedel gets second and his NTS teammate Neil Fez sneaks into third with a very good finish. Much closer than I thought. What a race. Doing it water polo style. I can definitely feel the tension mounting for the biggest long course showdown in Hungary next month. Some of our qualifiers are competing in the Mare Nostrum European Series at the moment. You can also look forward to some more schools competition next week. And definitely the boys final, the under 19s at Stellenbosch. A big thank you to Wahoo and the Gauteng Water Polo ladies. Our thoughts go out to everybody who's affected by the raging fires in the Southern Cape and here to hoping for more rainfall in the region. I've had a great time and I trust that you did too. Until we meet again next week. Thank you for watching. Swimming show.